The traders are answering your questions right now. First up for Joe, Tim in Maryland, wants an update on Lululemon. You own it. Lululemon, I own it. It is trading near an all-time high, which is at $208. I'm going to report earnings on Wednesday, November 27th. You want to know whether the long-term growth runway will continue to be longer than investors expect. I expect that that will be the case. International is going to be the key. International right now is only 11% of their sales. I believe they have the ability to grow international mm -hmm. significantly. Okay. Tesla, poised for a breakout, John? Um, there's certainly bets about that. I mean, a price target was just raised from 300 to 400, Brian. So um, I like it. I think it continues to move to the upside and squeezes, folks. Okay, for Rob, energy. We talked about it. Due for a rally? Mm -hmm. Well, it's well, it's had ha, had a rally. Yeah, a, mini, a, lot, a mini rally. Well, it's had, <laughs> it's a four percent. It hasn't had a rally. Hasn't had a rally. All right. It's had a mini rally. A lot of people think it's going to continue. The supply-demand characteristics aren't favorable. It's likely to be a topic that's debated in the election, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go All there. All right, yet. Norm in Wisconsin. Hi, Norm. Wants to know how to trade Walgreens, Margaret. It might get bought out. Certainly a lot of reports on KKR buying them out. Uh, some LBO estimates I've seen, the stock could be taken out at 60 to $68. I'd say limited upside there. I'd rather own CVS for the same valuation, same dividend. Stephanie, Joe in New Jersey, who is sitting right next to you, wants to know, should he, <laughs> should he hold or sell URI? I would sell half. It's up 51% year to date. Okay. Still cheap, but I'd sell half.